made me feel weird. weird. Yeah. I'm definitely against biometric systems. You're against systems. it? It was more, I felt more comfortable doing it for some reason. It seemed uh, very natural just to rub your finger. Yeah. Like, I fit, my finger fit perfectly in that little slot. Um, it wasn't like comfortable. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's not really threatening in any way. Okay. I think it's, it's not really, I think that one, the other thing was more clothes, so I felt more, uh, kind of, okay. yeah, brought up like a fear mm -hmm. almost, being claustrophobic, and then that was more, it's more simple and more, um, I don't know, more direct, I guess. Okay. Like I knew what I was getting into. It was a little bit more not intrusive? Yeah, yeah, and it just seemed more straightforward to me. Okay. It felt like more, uh, more, not like much yet, but more, uh, it's something that they might use for like a photo or something. Yeah, I'm sure that's also like you can also use too. Like that actually reminds me of I, I go to Twenty Four Hour Fitness. So oh, okay. So we have that fingerprint, which is you know it's like it's just your fingerprint, you yeah. dialing your phone number. Yeah. So it's pretty big, easy to use. Run it more than once so that we get a good sample. Okay. So how'd that make you feel? Better than looking in that yeah. thing. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Because there's just there's like I felt like I was inside that chamber. Right. And then whereas that was completely outside. Right. I don't know. There's something. More casual about that. Okay. Okay. You're just gonna we're gonna take three samples and yeah. you just rub your finger, any finger you want, three times across the, the bar. Uh -huh. Yeah, but you actually have to touch it. One more time. One more time. Okay. It didn't make me feel any better than the other one. Than the other one? Was it about mm -hmm. the same? Yeah, well, because I'm used to... I mean, I already think just, like, the glass thumbprint reader mm -hmm. is odd enough. And I already don't like that banks are starting to have you put thumbprints to, like, cash checks at their bank or whatever. you got to leave a driver's license and a thumbprint. Why don't you like it? Why don't I like it? Um, well, just, like, the broader implication of biometrics databases being kept in any... The potential for abuse, I guess, is, is what makes me feel mm -hmm. comfortable right. about it all. Right. It felt fine. It's nice and smooth. <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't know you guys besides where you go to school, so mm -hmm. I guess that's a little weird given my finger for Okay. Mm -hmm. But it was easy. That's something like that. That's portable, I guess, is even, you know, and like modular and potentially open source or whatever, you know, it's, I, it's iPod, iPad app, mm -hmm. you know, um, so anyone could download it or whatever and use it. So, like, the fact that it's portable kind of makes me feel even more uncomfortable because it's like you're not enough that you gotta uh, go through biometric checks at fixed points. Now there's the potential for you to give, go through it at mobile points, which I guess the retina scanner too. In all of them, now that I'm thinking about it, but particularly partnered directly with a consumer technology like this. Well, how would you feel if I told you this was connected to the internet, and I thought, I just know I know everything about you right now? I wouldn't feel very good. I I don't know. I would. I mean, obviously, uh, right? There's nothing I can do to stop you or prevent to remove your knowledge. So I just be kind of like, all right. I, walk away that <laughs> quickly, you know, um, yeah, I would hope that day would never come. I'll, I'll put it that way. Okay. Okay. Does that feel any different from the other devices? Yeah. No, because nothing is happening right. in the mechanism. Right. If something happened, I might feel different, but... But how do you know nothing is happening? Well, I guess this is what I'm trying to say. There's nothing mm -hmm. that I know about to react to. Mm -hmm. Maybe something is happening that I don't know about, but... But that's the thing. How do you know there's nothing you don't know about? <laughs> there's not, but that's why I'd be a naive human being, because I don't know what's happening. Well, this was actually hooked up to the internet, and I've just scanned your hand. So now I have a database. Well, I'm, I'm slowly building up a database. Scan print. 
it's not connected to anything else. So now I have that information. That's kind of weird. Does that make you feel any different? Um, yeah, it'd make me wonder what you're using them for. If I just said research. I mean, I probably wouldn't do that before I knew what it was going to be for it. Okay. Put it like on the side of my face, or would it I wouldn't have matter. To, yeah, you? versus like if I had to kind of like bend down and. Right. Or if I just gave it to you. I mean, I'd be comfortable just putting it next to my ear, like myself. Okay. Or uh, maybe if you have it like mounted on the wall. Okay. And maybe you can adjust the head, I guess. Okay. Hold it up to your touch glass. Okay. How did that make you feel? Um. If I like, told you the same thing, that now I know everything about you. Mm -hmm. Or what if it was a company asking you to do it, like right. Whole Foods, yeah. when you pay for your food? I guess it's just really, yeah, it really depends on the circumstance. Mm -hmm. If it was a grocery store versus the government, it would be a different feeling. But, I mean, I would wonder why I'm doing it at the grocery store. Mm -hmm. Well, what if you could pay for all your food? With your ear. By scanning your ear. Would you do uh, have it all delivered to your house? I'd rather pay with my card.